high. Amen. And here's the thing. The higher the calling, the greater the warfare. Amen. I have never one time seen the devil roll out the red carpet for somebody and said, here, just walk in the yes and amen. Here, just walk in your high calling. Here, come on. No, 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 no. Jesus said, in this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer because I've overcome the world. He said, I'll reward you. Anybody that's given up brothers and sisters and mothers and houses, I'll reward you in this lifetime a hundredfold with persecution. And if he'd have just left that part out, we could have celebrated. But we don't want the persecution. We don't want the suffering. We want the power without the suffering. We want the glory without the gut-wrenching trials. And it doesn't work that way. I'm sorry to tell you. Paul the Apostle. I was speaking to a friend of mine this week. He said I had to make some very difficult decisions. Very difficult decisions. Very difficult decisions. Some of the most difficult decisions I've had to make in 22 years of my ministry. Difficult. Heartbreaking. Heart-wrenching. Difficult decisions. And I was speaking to a friend of mine and asking counsel. And we were talking this and that. And he gave me wise counsel. And at the end of it, I said, man, why has it got to be so hard, man? I said, sometimes I wonder, do other people have it this hard, man? And I'm talking to a man who I know he had it hard too. He almost died last year. His son almost died the year before that. All these bad things happened to his family. And I said, I said, Ryan, do you think, do you think everybody has it this hard? And he goes, man, he goes, I know. Sometimes you wonder, am I doing something wrong? But here's the thing. When you are smack dab in the center of God's will, the storms will still come. The trials will still come. But it's perfecting you. It's changing you. It's moving you to another glory. And if you keep the right perspective in the midst of the trial, you'll keep going higher because the devil is under your feet. And he said this to me. He said, Paul the Apostle. Six years, Paul the Apostle went through hell, man. He had the, the, the great responsibility of going around correcting the church. Listen, I don't like correcting people. Do you like correcting people? Nobody likes it. It's no fun. Amen. I'm going to make you do it next time, Renee. I'm going to make you do it. Oh, no, I'm going to go home and take a nap. You just take care of the whole thing. He was stoned. He was shipwrecked. He was beaten he, he, with rods. He, he, they thought he was dead. You know, I mean, he went through so much. And on top of that, he had the burden of the church. Can you imagine? Tell your neighbor, you're not a burden. <laughs> Amen. I wanted to quit a lot of times. Here's the thing, though. Sometimes the greatest testimony you can have is, I'm still here. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I'm still here. I know many of you who have been through hell, you've been through high water, you've been through drama and trauma, but look around, you're still here, praise God, hallelujah, the devil didn't take you out, you have survived 100% of everything you've ever been through, you're still here, amen, and you're better than you were, you're wiser than you were, you're more compassionate than you were, you're able to comfort people with the comfort with which you've been comforted with the Holy Ghost, you are better, amen, you went to the fire and you don't even smell like smoke, amen. It's just part of the process. But in the last five years, all these bad things happened. But guess what? In the last five years, I quit Charisma. I traveled to 30 nations. I established his house of prayers, prayer hubs, and house churches in 40 nations. I launched podcasts. I wrote best-selling books and so much more. And I haven't even scratched the surface yet because my God is greater. My God is higher. And you haven't scratched the surface yet either. Some of you haven't even begun to live. But the Lord would say to you, you today. I am escorting you onto a new road. It's called increase. It's called peace in the storm. It's called strength in the battle. It's called overwhelming joy. And the Lord says, keep walking with me because I'll walk with you through the fire and I'll walk with you through the waters and I'll walk with you through to the victory for I myself am your victory banner, says the Lord, and I will not let you down and I will not let you go, says the spirit of the living. God. Come on. Jesus.